Are you the type of person who better remembers something by recording an audio note? If so, then the built-in Voice Memos app is the quick and easy solution. You can record directly with your iPhone or iPad and have it accessible from any device with iCloud. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and since I don't want you to miss any new videos, hit that notification bell too. Let's get started. To record a voice memo, we need to launch the Voice Memos app on your iPhone or iPad. And to do that, on your home screen, if you don't see the Voice Memos app, just pull down and then in the search bar, start typing in voice. And as soon as you do, you'll see that the Voice Memo app appears. Go ahead and tap on that to open. If this is the first time you're using the Voice Memos app, you may not see any recordings there. To begin a new recording, go ahead and tap on the red button at the bottom of the screen and your Voice Memo will begin to record. If you'd like to pause the recording, you can go ahead and tap anywhere on this screen and a window will pop up with the pause button. So now, we can choose to tap on pause, and if we want to, we can go ahead and just resume the recording. Or we can tap on the forward uh, 15 seconds or back 15 seconds. And if I tap on the back 15 seconds, it gives me the opportunity to go ahead and replace the recording that I had, so I can kind of record over what I've done. When you're finished, tap the pause button and then tap on done. And now we've just recorded our first voice memo. You can listen to the memo anytime from within the voice memos app. So we're already in the voice memos app and to listen to it, all you need to do is hit the play button. To edit or enhance a recording, while inside the Memos app, you'll just want to tap on the recording you want to edit or enhance. And then tap on the, th the three to horizontal dots, the ellipses in the bottom left hand corner. And now tap on Edit Recording. Now here we have some options. You can tap on the Trim icon in the upper right hand corner. And while that, what, what that allows you to do is to trim your video. So the little yellow arrows at the bottom, you can pull in from either side to trim the video. And when you're finished, you can either tap on trim, which will take out the outer portions of the video. I'm sorry, the audio. It'll take out these portions. Or if you tap on delete, it will remove the whole inner portion. When you're finished, go ahead and tap on whichever one you want. I'm just going to say trim for right now. And then tap on save. You also have the option to enhance the audio. And so if I tap on the magic wand in the upper left hand corner, it will try to remove things like background noise. Um, it'll try to make the audio sound a little bit better. When you're finished with that, tap on Done, and your voice recording has been trimmed and enhanced. You can share your voice memos with others by email, messages, social networks, and more. To do that, tap on the, the recording, and now tap on the ellipses in the lower left corner, and choose share. And now just choose the method with which you'd like to share the voice memo with them. The voice memo file can also be saved to third party apps like Box or Dropbox or Google Drive or pretty much any other storage site. And once you tap the ellipses, if you start to scroll, 
you should see the things that are already on your device. So I can save this to Dropbox because it's located on my iPhone. And if you're not seeing something that you already have on your device, scroll down to the very bottom and tap on Edit Actions and make sure that you have the toggle switch turned on to that particular third-party app. By default, all of the recordings will be named New Recording with the date attached, but you have the option to change it at any time. Once you're inside the Voice Memos app, if you just tap on the area where it says New Recording, you'll see that the recording uh, becomes highlighted. You can input the new name, and I'll just name it Test. And now, if I just tap out of anywhere, it's renamed that recording to test. You can also delete recordings and to do that, just tap on the recording that you wanna delete and then tap on the trash can in the lower right corner. And now that recording has been removed. If you realize that you've uh, deleted the wrong recording or you need to recover that recording, tap on the back arrow in the upper left corner tap on recently deleted, find the recording that you'd like to restore, tap on it, tap on recover, and then tap on recover recording again. And now if you come back into all recordings, you'll see that that recording has been recovered. Your voice memos can be synced through iCloud so that all of your recordings will appear on all of your other devices such as your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. And so we're just gonna swipe out of the Voice Memos app and we're gonna come in to the Settings app and make sure that you're on that main settings page and then tap on your name at the top and now tap on iCloud and scroll until you see Voice Memos. And once you see voice memos, just make sure that the toggle switch has been turned on. And this way, all of your voice memos will be synced across your devices. Voice memos is now available on the Apple Watch in Watch OS 6. And to access it on your watch, push the digital crown to access your apps, find voice memos, and tap on it. Go ahead and tap on the red button to record. And now we're recording on our Apple Watch. When you're finished, go ahead and tap on the red square to stop the recording. And if I tap on the recording, I have some options. I can go back 15 seconds. I can go forward 15 seconds. If I tap on the ellipses, I can delete the recording. I'm going to cancel. If I tap on recording, I can actually change the name by using dictation, scribble. I can add an emoji if I want. And if I tap on the keyboard, it'll allow me to finish um, the editing over on the iPhone or iPad. I'm going to go ahead and tap cancel. And I'm going to tap out by pressing the digital crown. And if I now come in to my iPhone and tap on voice memos, you'll see that that new recording is already inside my iPhone because I have iCloud Sync set up. I hope you found this video on the voice memos app to be useful. Keep an eye out for iOS 15 where the voice memo app gets even better. These new options will include changing the playback speed, skipping silence, and better enhancement of audio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.